Website hosting is an essential part of setting up a website. But with so many website hosting companies available, it can feel overwhelming when it comes to choosing the right one for your needs. Hi, it's Alex here from Brainstorm Force, and I've been creating websites for well over 15 years. And during that time, I've used a lot of different website hosting companies. This video is our ultimate guide to WordPress hosting companies. I've got eight different hosting companies I'm gonna share with you. Each one offers something slightly different. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'll be giving you my thoughts on which one is best for your needs. And you'll find links to all of the companies mentioned in the description below this video. So be sure to go and check them out. Most of these companies offer a range of different hosting services, but for this particular video, I'm gonna be talking about their WordPress hosting service. If you want to design your website before committing to some hosting, be sure to check out ZipWP. ZipWP is a platform that allows you to create WordPress websites really quickly and easily, play around with themes and plugins, design your site so that it's absolutely perfect, and then you can migrate it to your hosting. You'll find a link to ZipWP in the description. So let's go. The first company I've got for you is Hostinger. With pricing starting from just $2.99, for a 48 month contract. It does renew at $7.99, which is still a very good price. It makes it very accessible for small businesses and startups. Even though their prices are low, you still get a fully featured hosting service. They've got super fast performance, so your pages are gonna load really fast, which is good for your users and can also help your search engine rankings. They've also got some other nice features like a free migration service, free SSLs, and you can have as many as you want, and also a free email service. Hosting a hosting comes with a custom control panel, which is actually really easy to use. So it's quick and easy to get your hosting set up. If things do go wrong, well, there is 24 seven customer support, which you can access via live chat. And in my experience, they respond really quickly and are really helpful. One of the main downsides with Hostinger is that on the lower plans, they don't offer daily backups. There is automated weekly backups though, so that's probably sufficient for most people. Apart from that, you get unlimited bandwidth, you get quite a lot of space, you get pretty much everything you need, even on the lower plans. Hostinger are a really good hosting company and certainly one of our first choices when it comes to setting up a website. As I said at the beginning, you'll find a link in the description do go and check them out. The next hosting company I've got for you is Cloudways. The Cloudways platform is designed to simplify the complexity of using cloud hosting. Cloudways make it easy to access cloud providers like AWS, Google Cloud, and DigitalOcean. The beauty of using a cloud service is it gives you a lot of flexibility. It's also very easy to scale as your website grows. You can choose which of those providers you'd like to use and you should expect super fast performance. After all, these cloud computing services, these are the ones that power websites like Amazon and Google services. The Cloudways platform is fairly easy to use, but if you get stuck or run into some problems, they offer a 24 seven live chat support service, which I found to always be very helpful. Couple of negative points when it comes to Cloudways. The first is there's a lot of options within their interface, which is it's great if you're a techie and you know what you're doing, but if you're a beginner or if you're new to cloud hosting, it might be a little bit overwhelming. Another downside is they don't have any introductory pricing. You go straight in on their main pricing, which is slightly more expensive than some of the other companies mentioned in this video. But I guess that's to be expected. Cloudways offer super high performance, scalable cloud hosting which is always gonna cost a bit more than your general shared hosting that's offered by a lot of the other providers. Pricing for Cloudways starts at $14 a month. And if you think your website's gonna be growing quickly or you need super fast performance, I definitely suggest you go check them out. Next up, I've got another very popular hosting company for you. It's Dreamhost. Dreamhost are quite well known for being a very reliable hosting company and a company that strives for customer satisfaction. This is reflected in their uptime guarantee. They offer 100% uptime, which is, is pretty impressive, which means your website, well, it should never go down. It will always be online. 
which is nice to know. DreamHost's WordPress hosting plans start from just $2.59 a month. They do go up to $5.99 upon renewal, which is still a very good price. They come with things like a free domain name again, free SSL, and all of the other features that you'd expect. The one downside that I can think of with DreamHost is that all of their servers are in the US, which could be a problem for international sites, but could be remedied by installing a good content delivery network, also known as a CDN. DreamHost is certainly a company to be considered. Do go and take a look at their website and see what you think. Next up, we have SiteGround, which is another very highly regarded hosting company. SiteGround have built their reputation on their exceptional customer service and their high performance. When it comes to customer support, they are really good. You can contact them 24 seven via live chat, via a ticketing system, or if you want to speak to someone, you can even pick up the phone and call them. Alongside their fantastic customer support and their high performance, I also like the fact that they've got built-in security features. You get a free SSL and they do daily scans of your website to make sure that it's not infected with any malware. As well as the security peace of mind, you get extra peace of mind with free daily backups too. So you can rest assured if you've got your website with SiteGround, it's gonna be nice and safe and well looked after. One of the downsides with SiteGround is they are quite expensive. They have a nice introductory rate of just $2.99 on their basic plan, but this jumps up considerably on renewal all the way up to $17.99. Another negative is that on the lower plans, you don't get a lot of storage space. The basic plan, for example, only has 10 gig which isn't a problem if you're not gonna be hosting loads of videos and images, but compared to some of the other companies featured in this video, it is pretty small. Despite those two things, I would certainly recommend SiteGround. Do go take a look at their website for more information. The next company I'm gonna share with you are fairly high end. They're called Kinsta and they offer some really high performance WordPress hosting. Kinsta leveraged the Google Cloud platform that provides exceptional performance and reliability for WordPress websites. Performance is probably gonna be the main reason you choose Kinsta, but it's also super scalable as well. So if you're creating websites that are growing rapidly, Kinsta is certainly worth a look. You can also expect expert support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you've also got automatic backups as well, which are carried out daily. On the downside, this kind of performance and scalability well, it comes at a cost, with Kinsta's plan starting at $30 a month if you take out their annual payment plan. The other thing with Kinsta, which could be a problem, is they don't offer any email services. So if you want email, you're gonna to have to find another provider to help you out with that. Kinsta's certainly not gonna be for everybody, but if you do think you need that high performance and scalability, go and check out their website for more information. Next up, I've got something at the other end of the scale. This one is for those of you on a budget. It's MilesWeb. The MilesWeb service is pretty comprehensive, to be fair, but it comes at a really good price. With MilesWeb, you get a lot of the things you'd expect. You get the 24-7 support. You get free email. You get a free SSL. They've got a nice, easy-to-use control panel. But their prices start from just $1 a month. Yes, you heard that right, just $1 a month. I should say that it does renew at $5 a month, but that's still a fantastic price. On the downside, there's no free domain. It's not gonna be suitable for a WooCommerce website, and it doesn't have some of the advanced DDoS protection that some of the other providers do. But if you go up to one of their other packages, you can get all of that stuff. Miles Web's probably not gonna be suitable for every project, but it's certainly worth a look if you're on a budget. Do go and check out their website for more details. The next hosting company I've got for you are dedicated to WordPress. It's WP Engine. WP Engine, as the name suggests, is a WordPress hosting provider. And they're known to have optimized hosting to get the best from WordPress. Expect to get robust performance, top-notch security, and expert WordPress specific support. You also get a nice easy to use control panel and automatic backups. But on the downside, WP Engine are more expensive and well, it's WordPress only. So if you wanna host something else, some other platform, WP Engine is not gonna work for you. WP Engine starts at $20 a month, but if you want things like WooCommerce, a performance boost or extra layers of security, well, you're gonna to have to pay extra for all of those features. 
You'll find a link to WP Engine in the description. Do go check them out. The final hosting company I've got for you offers something a little bit different. Green Geeks offer hosting the same as everyone else, but their focus is on helping to save the planet. Green Geeks are dedicated to sustainability. They match 300% of their power usage through renewable energy credits. The Green Geeks eco-friendly hosting is still very high performance. They use SSDs, they've got CDNs, and they also offer 24 seven support. Their hosting comes with the usual features, expect daily backups, expect free email, you get a free domain name, there's a free CDN, there's a free SSL. It's got everything you'd expect. But on top of that, you've got that nice glowing warm feeling inside that you're not destroying the planet in the process with your hosting because alongside their renewable energy credits, they'll also plant a tree for every hosting package sold. On the downside with Green Geeks, well, the first thing is their renewal rates. They have a very tasty introductory price of just $2.95, but upon renewal, it jumps up significantly to $11.95 a month. Another problem that I've noticed as I read the reviews for Green Geeks is their support can be inconsistent. Some people have said they've had a great experience and had their problem resolved quickly and easily, whereas others have said that they've not maybe been as helpful as they could be. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're choosing your hosting company. So there we go. That was eight WordPress hosting companies that are all certainly worth a look, but you might still be confused in terms of which one is best for you. So as promised, let me help you out with that. So if you're in the position where you're just getting started with your website, maybe it's your first website, or maybe it's for a very new project and you're not quite sure how well it's going to go, then probably the best hosting company for you is going to be Hostinger or Dreamhost. However, if you are a fast growing business or you have the potential to grow very fast, then you need to check out Kinsta or Cloudways as they're probably going to be the best for you. If you're going to be creating an e-commerce website, or maybe you already have an e-commerce website, then you should probably consider SiteGround or Cloudways, as they offer some really good performance for e-commerce websites. And by the way, if you are thinking of setting up an e-commerce website, have you seen Shortcut? It's a fantastic plugin for WordPress that gives you some great e-commerce functionality. I'll put a link below to a couple of videos on Shortcut that you should certainly go and take a look at. If money's tight for you at the moment, or if you've got a very small budget for your project, then Miles Web is going to be for you. As you saw earlier, their pricing is unparalleled. It's probably the cheapest hosting out there, but it's still a really good service. So do go check them out if you're on a budget. Finally, if you want hosting that's got an environmental focus, that's not going to damage the planet, then Green Geeks is for you. With their renewable energy credits and their planting of trees, it's a great sustainable platform that still offers a really good service. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you're now clear on the best hosting company for you. Let me know in the comments which hosting company you're going to use or which company indeed you are using. I do love to hear from you and I read all of the comments that I get. Be sure to check out our step-by-step -step guide on how to install WordPress on hosting. You'll find a link to it in the description. If you haven't clicked the like button yet, it's just down there. Really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you click that button too to avoid missing future videos from the Brainstorm Force team. But until next time, good luck with your site. See you later.